I don't want any gifts from <laughs> Gavin. I, I don't want any gifts. I don't trust Gavin anymore. Merry Christmas! I'll probably just say an unlimited steam balance, really, you know, and uh, and of course with anticipation of whatever Valve release in terms of like the Arcanas that they did mention at least or something or maybe just cosmetics they mentioned before TI they said there was something coming, so yeah, unlimited steam balance so I can uh, continue to buy all the games and all the Arcanas without any regret. So yeah, unlimited steam balance so I can uh, continue to buy all the games and all the Arcanas without any regret. I hope that. He will give me more steam wallet, I guess. <laughs> he will give me more steam wallet, I guess. Huh? <laughs> nope. Maybe some steam games, like single player games. Because after this we have a bit of break again. And I like to play some games on steam. Uh, I wish he would remove nature's profit. That's my personal crusade right now. I fucking hate that hero. I hate him so much. I want to see, I want to open that box and I want to see nature's profit's head on a platter for me. That's what I want. <laughs> if Gabe Newell was center and I could have a request, I would request for the return of Battle Pass with all my hats for TI. All right, I wish Gabon that can make me qualify for TI. I hope Gabon will pray for me. All the best. Maybe Gabon wants to bring us back the old major system of the three three valve majors throughout the year. So like the three prestigious majors and they had like the Mystic Staff, Reaver and the Eagle Song. I thought that was a really cool system. So I think there's been some really good events over the years. I think they should build upon that and choose some format whichever they think is best. Some Frostivious or Dire Tide. There's been so many good ones. I think it would be good if they add one of them. For the love of God! Uh, I have wanted Aghanim's Labyrinth to come back for a really long time. I think um, Aghanim's Labyrinth was uh, like a really fun and casual way to engage with Dota. Top-down view of controlling a hero and stuff like that. It gives you a chance to be able to experience that without the, the all the baggage of like competition, five versus five, and teammates and stuff like that. I think it's the best way to bring people into Dota and get them interested in it. I think it's one of the best ways to play Dota more casually. And of course, I love this game! <laughs> I would like to receive a Slark Arcana, but my wish would be that I feel like there's a lot of like slower ranged heroes, like Drow and Sniper as a carry player, that just don't fit on the new map. I like the aspect of the bigger map, but I think like there's no way they can calculate everything that's going to happen when you change that big of a part of the game, but I would like them to give those heroes some sort of compensation so not every hero has to be a melee race car running around the map. So I would like to know what next year's Dota schedule is supposed to look like, how are teams supposed to get to TI, and if I want to be more ambitious, maybe Ringmaster was just the first hero announcement and they're going to drop a second secret hero. <laughs> Actually, I saw the how they give the bands with the gifts. I don't want any gifts from okay? Gavin. I, I don't want any gift. I don't trust Gavin anymore. I thought it's, yeah, no gift. Thank you. I'm good. Gavin, 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 G-I-D-E-N, Gavin, Gavin.